guys how are you doing today i am constance thank you for joining me in the next episode of my english class in this lesson we're going to be talking about words which convey different state of feeling words which convey different state of feeling so sometimes you want to grab the attention of your reader regardless of whom you might be re you might be writing to to get their attention and you will use specific word to get those to get that attention from the from that particular reader all right so here are some words <clears throat> which will help you bring out a feeling in a person whenever they are reading your report or your text or your material or your manuscript all right but before we go any further i would love for you to like subscribe share and also hit the notification bell so whenever i post a video you will be the first to have it all right just a nice reminder for you to help this channel to grow and so whenever i post a video you can follow along with whatever is being taught here all the videos have have a number at the end so you can't even if you miss the name you cannot miss the number right so we have video from one up to 100 and i think 90 right now so you cannot miss a video lesson all right so look at these words now and we're going to go through them together so our first word here is perfume perfume which will bring to mind or bring about the feeling of fragrance you might have a specific specific perfume that you're using say what black um white diamond so if you hear the word perfume white diamond the scent of white diamond comes comes to your mind or comes to your feeling right away all right gay to be gay is to be what gaudy to be happy to be outspoken to be joyful to be colorful so that is what the word gaudy means fun you know like some homosexual they are gay and they are gaudy and they're how they're doing their thing right fastidious fastidious can be it's a double or a dual word so fastidious painstaking callous right painstaking callous or paying great attention to details or paying great attention to details all right so some person can be what very harsh in their recommendation or in their report <coughs> they can be very harsh in their recommendation or in their report and next word is dynamic dynamic ostentatious showy frank and outspoken ostentatious showy frank and outspoken so those are the feeling that would come about when you should hear the word dynamic you're listening to the the news and you hear the reporters utter the word dynamic you will think of something one up being outspoken um prada the devil loves prada you know that movie I think Glenn Close hacked in that movie. Well, that would be considered a dynamic person because she was what? Very ostentatious. She was very showy. She was frank and she was outspoken. And you remember her a secretary um, played by Hannah Weatherspoon or Hathaway, I think. I'm not so sure. So that, that movie, The Devil of Sprother, is a good example of being dynamic very showy person haughty which means proud it brings out the per the feeling of proud like someone royal right somebody diplomatic somebody in high office all right so haughty proud diplomatic conserved all right object object not the object of a bottle 
or a spoon or a car or something like that but for instance when you go to the court and the judge say I object all right so that type of object we are talking and immediately what comes out of you protest all right the feeling of protest comes out of you because you're going to say no your honor that's not the way it goes no mm -mm -mm -mm. that's not the way it goes your honor and then you have other feelings of triumph or you have a feeling of what anger all right so object brings out that feeling of what protest extreme disgust extreme disgust shrewd cunning and dishonest you have ever had an experience of extreme disgust somebody so disrespectful don't value a next person don't have a respect for a next human being all right so if that person brings to you what extreme disgust that's how you feel about such person so that person is what brings out the feeling of being shrewd cunning dishonest and you don't have feel have a good sensation when you have somebody dishonest around you right stench stench Myself and my English teacher used to talk about this um, topic before. All right, stenches would bring out the feeling of what? Stink, right? Would be a dead body, right? It could be somebody excreting, which is to fart, right? So stench, something stink. Traditional. When you hear the word tradition, what do you think of? Whole fashion traditionally we cook turkey for thanksgiving so here after here grandmother great grandmother everybody cook turkey for thanksgiving or some cooked duck right <laughs> so traditional you would think of what the feeling of old-fashioned something old-fashioned comes to your mind or to your sensation criminally criminally dangerous or fear dangerous or fear that's the feeling that comes about you when you hear or read something criminally so criminally dangerous or fear so if somebody should write a letter and say it was a criminal hack that were done to the children or automatically you draw your you pull back right you pull back you want to pay more attention to it because it brings about the feeling of something dangerous or something fearful all right the next last but not least total disagreement total disagreement you can have partial disagreement and you also can have total disagreement total disagreement would brings about the feeling of what disappointment and and unhappiness disappointment and unhappiness so everybody is rejecting you everybody is against you everybody is turning against you and that bring it to a state of disappointment and unhappiness if you're on the job or in a household where you're getting totally when you're getting total disagreement all the time you will always feel or oh, not sometimes but you will always feel disappointment and you will always feel unhappy that is why some children run away from home right that is the reason why some children run away from home because although they're in the family the family doesn't really know them they don't doesn't really understand their their psychology all right so they're always getting total disagreement they don't know the parents don't know why they want to socialize with this group they don't know their favorite color they don't know their likes or dislikes so they're experiencing total disagreement bringing them to a state of disappointment and unhappiness unhappiness so i hope you pay attention to these <coughs> So these words I hope they were beneficial to you and your writing your especially your novel and for medical writers these are good work to be words to use to express information to your audience or to your patients all right or to students or you're giving lectures to 
thank you for watching thank you for listening but before i go i would love for you i would love to say thank you to some of my awesome very awesome subscribers all right so lnb god be brog jill lindsay Lori, grant kelly malone daniel cherry Ta tanya tucker john bush melanie melanie arduna linda lindia lydia lolly tamatha mac christian amanda hopper all right thank you guys for your love and support on this channel and i look forward to you joining me in my next class until then bye bye